Hello everyone, welcome to Mirigold TV. If today is your first time to watch or listen to my video, make you not forget to hit the subscribe button and also remember to press notification bell so that anytime I drop video for this my channel, you will always stay aware. So my people, what I want to talk about today now concerning this very woman who had this year so ah a story they very painful. A story, they very, very heartbroken and sad. In fact, which other word we are going to explain the incident will happen to this woman for Canada with her three children? This woman, she they say based on the right of, they say she don't leave Nigeria for the past for about eight years now. She bring her two children, which is the grown up one, and the little one. She brought that one for Canada, which make it three. So then, now as I am talking to you, those children are no more. Those children, which she, because of their sake, come Canada to come try to look for, you know one way or the other so that Canada government go give them opportunity to stay for Canada for our children to have a better life because of all the stress of asylum process passing through one uh, process interview appeal from here and there it make this woman to travel from the city where she did go to the main capital city of Canada on their way coming back to Shamford where did they live motor accidents happened to them she was even the one driving the car when motor accidents happened the three children they died my people, my people, something they happen for this life. Honestly, the kind of pain where this man they pass through at this moment. Anyway, as it happen, they can give on the full story. They say first of January, okay, twenty twenty. This new year we just really enter so. Happy thirty first. Where everybody they celebrate, every children they happy say, Ah, this new year it will be fun. Then they wait for the present where their parents get for them. Then they wait for the rice, everything good time where they want have for house. Everybody is celebrating it around the world. But sadly, these children never experienced that very faithful and celebration day even with their mother as well the mother and they said and then we shall say again and uh, for the past uh, about eight years and nearly about eight years now when she arrived from nigeria to canada she applied for asylum uh, Asylum, so they continue to deny <coughs> that they continue to refuse her application. So, as a refusal, she need to put in appeal, they go refuse, put on the second again, they still refuse. So, finally, they can see right to her again. When she can't see her, the whole thing be she can't get to go to uh, the city of uh, Canada to go look for lawyer. We go see Epa file in a, a federal appeal for them to be able to stay maybe madame I could be our last <coughs> sorry guys madame I feel could be our last uh, chance to stay she and her children they come up from her whole city drive go on their way coming back to where did they, they stay Feta Accidents happen to them. Fatal, like serious accidents. It happened to them. And it take the life of those children. 
you see it's a very, very sad one. As this is happened to this woman now, my people, trust me. Now, now, now the government of Canada will come say they will give her document. After she don't lose all her life, she don't lose those children which they fight for to give a better life to. What is the need? She will come say, why should they leave? What is the need the one can give her document when the children which is try to make their life to be comfortable in living in Canada? Sorry. Now the children are no more again. You see, my people, you see. Ah, this woman's story, my people, is a very, very tough one. It's a very tough one. She'll be looking at herself now and be crying that she have lost all what she have in life. And those children are the purpose why should they live? You know, be say, okay. Ah, my people, this thing, you did somehow. Devil not the like better thing. I wish she know, say, this incident go happen to her by sweeping away a struggle. The reason why she's struggling, which is her children. I believe say she not going to even waste her time to say she wants to stay for nine, to say to say she wants to stay for Canada to the fight to get all of these documents for those children. She forced me to carry and go back to Nigeria. Meanwhile, she said on the process, why did they pass through all this and stress every time? One of her children tell her, say, instead of them to go back to Nigeria, they better die for Canada. Please, parents out there, sometimes, what do you use your mouth in the talk, eh? In the manifest. Always learn how to speak positively. Teach your children how to speak positively. Please. It was just like those children know that one of the child know that this thing, they come their way. Do you know that what you talk for your mouth sometimes? You feel no, no, say it go happen, no. But my mouth, the first they see what it they happen up ahead. That is why we all must learn how to speak positively. Either for joke, either for serious, for serious issue, prophesy, talk positively. So, so now, so of course, see the whole thing, these children. They don't get to celebrate the new year again. I know at this moment the mother would say, Why this death not take her? For the children to be alive. That is the prayer of many parents out there. They go say, instead of such a thing to happen to their children, it better happen to them. Because your children. Are your legacy your children have the purpose you are still breathing you are still living there are some certainties that will happen to you when you look at your children's face you'll be strong because of your children you will like no you don't want to be weak because if those kids are seeing you like this they are not going to be happy but the joy of this woman today, the joy that's supposed to be for this woman forever, I'll be taken away from her. How is she going to live happy now with her these children? I don't know. I don't know how strong this woman can be able to live without one of those child or two of those child being alive. For her to say, say, mm, anything will happen to one. God knows the purpose. 
But in our case now, it's not such to say, ah, anything will happen to one about them. God knows the purpose. But trust me, lady out there, men out there, no parents who want to lose one, or if you don't even want to see that child be sick and be in the hospital bed, not to talk of losing one, and for you to say God knows the purpose. Rather, mother will want to, to die to satisfy her life for her children. Rather, father will want to die to satisfy his own life for their children. Ah, this woman. I pray may God give her heart to be strong. But trust me, without no sugar quoting what have happened to her. Believe me, this woman hope is gone. There is no way she can be able to be strong after this thing have happened to her. Taking three of her children. I don't I don't understand this accident that happened to those children. Now the mother be the one with the driver and the children sit down. The mom, which is this woman, she survived it. It's like person where devil say one shook hand for the woman high. Because devil know they like good things. Yes. That's the way they give you joy if you are not prayerful. Always be prayerful. Now that thing, evil people, they want me to penetrate into your life for. Today now, all our sweat, all our struggle, all our suffered is the vain. Is the vain. I wish she knew say this thing will happen to her. Or she even dream to see it. Say, Instead of her to go to the capital city to go do the appeal so that they go see consider them again. Say may she not go, may she just get ready to prepare for deportation. I believe this woman will not go. Even if she will see her for dreams sometimes. Sometimes so many of you overlook dream. Even after praying over it. You get some kind of things where you go see for dream. You don't go overlook them. You have to wake up and pray against it. Put God into it. You get some kind of dream where you go just dream. You go look and say, "Man, just dream." But in this woman case, may God let her be strong enough. Otherwise, eh, as this woman just be so. <laughs> If na woman, where person not go always there around with before she go just take something. Say may she may she herself just go. Trust me, you will not even believe it all. Because I pray may she find joy. At last, as make her mind they at settle the bit. But trust me, eh? now just man be that one no. As this woman be, it will day her before she can find joy. Because this is not a joking thing. It will day her before she go find peace. Even though her friends, her family try to tell her that, take heart. Take heart. Try to be strong. Find peace in every situation that ha happened to you. Try to find joy to keep you strong and forget anything that happened to you. But in this case, it's different. A three children that give her life, that make her to be Britain, that make her to leave Nigeria, to come to Canada today, those children are no more. Which document the one give her? When she comes to say, it go give her joy. Which document the one give her? Where she is saying I go make her to fit a while away in just years. You know, they my people. The time where they're supposed to take give this woman documents. If this not be the work of devil, they don't give her that time where those children go their life. 
Now, his children face a guarantee. They don't go let her go because the body of her children, they go put her there for Canada. Because of that, they could give her a document. What, of, what kind of a document and rubbish document? Canada government will come issue at at this time of this woman pain, of this woman tears. Ah, this woman, honestly, all true of her life, it go day hard before she go smile again. It go day hard before she go feel happy again. Just see what it happened to her. In a day she can never forget, for the fact that it was first of New Year, a bit thirty first of uh, first of New Year of twenty twenty, a bit thirty first of thirty uh, first of uh, December two thousand and nineteen, which is uh, New Year's Eve, one of the two nineteen something to happen, one of the two day. The day she will never forget, and the day that. All our joy wipe off. My people, I beg, if you are struggling in this abroad year, you don't try your best to, to, to leave this abroad, to stay this abroad, so that they will give you document for you not to go back to Nigeria. If you lose and you try, you don't work out well. It is better. Just accept them to take you home. It might be so tough, it might be so challenging for you, but you never know what will be up ahead for you. After trying to prevent not to be deported, you might still end up losing all this fight. You might end up experiencing what you don't even want to experience. Use this woman case now to start to reason, think twice. What this woman have been fighting for? She lost all. She lost all her joy. Do you not think if this woman know this is going to happen to her? She would have said she wants to go to Nigeria. She for no even bother at all. She go say make they go they drink gary anything what they see for that Niger, but they demanded they hit her. But last last, last last all the joy take away from her, the children which they suffer from for all of them. Go, may God give her the heart to carry home. But it is not easy. Please. You that is still struggling for your for your asylum process or any challenges you are passing through in life, always learn how to you know make it a little bit stress free. Make it a little bit stress free so that you don't go because of running from scatter to scatter to look for a way out of that challenges of that problem you are passing through to end up losing your life into it to end up losing the innocent one life into it please my people have them this is a very sad one especially in this kind of case it is painful our joy is gone eh? all she all what you have is gone what else again not even many to be honest She'll begin to be looking at her own self, say, what is the purpose of her living? If this kind of thing happened to any man or any woman, that is the next way that person go they think he go say, what he remain again? What will be the purpose why he or she go they live? Why everything what he she they struggle for, she lost her? This life, God, take her solely control, protect your children. So anyway, my people, now this update I just get to bring for you all. Please be very, very careful out there. Please, 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 and always be prayerful. No matter the challenges you are passing through in life, 
take, learn how to take it easy. So thank you very much. See you in my next video, my people. Share to your friends. Like, comment. And thank you.